In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can mirror draw using Affinity Designer for the iPad. So let me come back over here to the start menu and I'm going to open up a new document based on my screen size. And once we have the new document open, I'm just going to pinch to zoom out a little bit. I want to be able to see the whole canvas while I'm working here. So in order to draw in mirror mode, we're going to have to come over here to the pixel persona, which is located over here at the top of the, at the, top of the screen, this little icon right here. And uh, we're going to have to use the paintbrush tool, which is located over here. If you're having trouble accessing the tool, it's right here, depicted by a little paintbrush icon, or you could hold the little question mark icon down here in the bottom right corner, and all these little labels will pop up telling you what everything is. Okay, so once you have the paintbrush tool enabled, if you look towards the bottom of the screen, you should see this little menu down here with all these different tool options. Now what we want to do is tap this little white triangle over here to the right to come over here to this side of the menu. And I want to enable this button right here that says mirror. And then I want to enable this option over here that says symmetry. And when you do that, you should notice a horizontal guide is placed on your screen. What you could do now is you can begin drawing or painting like that and everything that you draw will be mirrored on the other side of that line. So let me go ahead and undo that by two finger tapping. If you want, you can increase the number of lines over here. You can see uh, right now we just have one line. You can increase this to two lines if you'd like. And now you end up with something like that right there. Or you can increase this by seven, eight, nine, as much as you want, all the way up to 16 like that. And if you increase that to 16, you get something like this right here like that. Okay. So let me set this back to one. Let's say you want to make this guide vertical instead of horizontal. Well, the way you can do that is, let me zoom out a little bit. I'm just going to tap on, I'm going to tap in, I'm, I'm I'm going to tap and swipe on the guide right here to rotate this around like that. And if you notice, it brings it around and I'm just going to make that vertical like that. And now we have a vertical line that we can mirror draw with and you can go ahead and create like faces like that if you'd like. Now the problem with using that method is that the line isn't perfectly vertical as you can see here. This is one of the design flaws in this application. There's no way to make this perfectly vertical. Um, if you want to, if you want to get it as close as possible, you can come up here to the, uh, the file options over here and where it says guides, tap on guides, and I'm going to add a vertical guide uh, down here at the bottom of the menu. And as you can see here, we now have this red vertical guide that we can use as a reference point. Now we can go back to the paintbrush tool and make sure that this uh, gray vertical guide is perfectly aligned with that blue guide on the screen there. And there you go. Now you should be able to uh, mirror draw with perfect symmetry like that. So that is how you can go about using mirror mode in Affinity Designer for the iPad. As always, thanks for watching.